Hello guys, today we're going to see how we can make this awesome stained glass using shader bra so that you can make kind of church windows so without further ado, let's start okay so once we are in unity what we are going to do first is right click create shader PBR bra and we are going to name this stain Last shader. I am going to double click it in order to open it. I'm going to maximize this. And in order to achieve this effect, I am going to use a gradient, which you can find by pressing a space and typing gradient. With this gradient, I am going to have five different colors, as you can see, like it is right here. I am going to teach you how you can make this. So in order to make this, first of all, I am going to change the mode from blend to fixed so that we have uh, solid colors along this gradient. And I am going to increase this a little bit. And if you click below this line, there is going to appear another, I don't know how to call it, bookmark. I don't know. If you click anywhere down below, and once you click it, you can select the color you want it to be. I, mean, I am going to change it to red just for now, for the moment. And I want one, two, three, four, five of these colors. So by just clicking below this line, I can create these new kind of colors. Um, the first color, I will click it and I will change it to blue, as you can see in here. The second color is going to be red. The third color is going to be green. Yeah, this one looks alright. Uh, the fourth color is going to be yellow. Kind of yellow. Yeah, and the last one is going to be orange. And once you have that, uh, we can close this and we have as you can see our gradient here and we are going to output this into a sample gradient node sample gradient node and this time it is, it is going to be the one in charge of changing the colors so for example if I increase this it goes from 0 to 1 and if you increase it it is going to change the color according to the percentage that you have assigned to each color. So as I want this to be different colors in different parts of the mesh, as you can see in here, what I am going to use is a Voronoi texture, Voronoi texture, and I am going to use the cells output, and you will see what I mean with this. I am going to choose a preview node so that you can see it, and as you can see, in this preview, the cells output gives us these kind of solid colors in some parts that looks like kind of shattered glass. And this, <coughs> this kind of gradient that goes from white to black is what goes from 0 to 1. Like for example here, where it's kind of black, it is going to be 0.8, let's say. And where it's kind of white, it is going to be... 0.2 or something like that and now in order to control the strength of this oh sorry I erased it in order to control the strength of this I am going to input this into a power node so that I can control how the colors that are being shown and I am going to set this to 1 just for now and I am going to plug this into the time node and as you can see, we got the colors, but they look kind of orangey. There are just orange, yellow, and green. That's not good. So I am going to increase this. And as you can see, there appear even more colors, which is what we are looking for. And aside from that, I am going to increase the cell density in order to make this even bigger. For example, something like 50, I think will look okay. Yeah. And now with this, I can 
input this into the Albedo node and as you can see we'll get different colors which look really cool and now with all of this set up I want to create a normal map out of these uh, cells from the boronoid that I have just created. I am going to change the angle offset just so that it varies a little bit. And now I am going to uh, create a normal from height, which is going to tell where the shadows should change according to the height values in here. As I told you, it goes from 0 to 1. I'm going to put this into the in node, to the in input of node, and I am going to plug this straight into the normal. And now you can see that in some parts it looks like there is a little bit of shadow, which looks pretty cool. I am going to set the smoothness up to one, which give it which gives it an even more realistic look. And now I am going to change Oh, sorry, I am going to click on the gear on the PBR master and I am going to change the surface from opaque to transparent in order to make it transparent. I am going to make this double sided. And now if I change the alpha mode, the alpha, the alpha value, we are going to see that it becomes transparent, which is what we are looking for. And now I want to be able to control this through the inspector in the in the scene window in the inspector window sorry so what i am going to do is create some properties so first of all i am going to start with the power of the voronoi texture i am going to create a vector one node and this is going to be in charge of handling the power of the voronoi texture so that we can change the colors that appear Hit load and now I am going to right click on it and I am going to select convert to property we are going to name this uh, color variety and now I want to set the scale as well so I am going to have another vector one node and this one it is going to be into the cell density but before I want to set the value to something like 50 I am going to input this into the cell density I am going to right click on it and I am going to convert this into a property as well and let it load the great and now I am going to call this uh, texture scale And now, what I want to control as well is the alpha values. So I am going to create a new vector one node as well. And I am going to plug this with a value of 0.4, I guess. No, 0 0.7. 0 0.7 looks okay. I am going to plug this into the alpha value. And I am going to convert this to a property. And we are going to call this transparency and besides from that I am going to change the mode from default to, sli to slider to go from 0 to 1 as the transparency on an object can go just from 0 to 1 I am going to save this I am going to minimize this I am going to go into my scene view and in here I am going to go straight up into my materials I'm going to create a new material. Uh, where is it? Material. And I am going to name this uh, stained glass material. Underscore mask, sorry. And with my material selected, I am going to go into my inspector and I am going to set this, the shader, I am going to set it to stained glass shader well you look at that that looks pretty cool and now i am going to create a 3d object which is going to be a quad 
I'm going to reset its position so that you can see it. Move it a little bit. And now I am going to scale this up. No, oh, no, no. Scale it. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me minimize it a little bit. Yes, that looks okay. And now I am going to select my stained glass material. And I am going to apply this straight up into my quad. And there you go. That's how you make stained glass. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have some questions, leave it in the comments below. And subscribe if you like it. Give it a like. And I hope I can see you in the next one. Bye-bye.